Frank, great to see you this morning. Good morning. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Well, it's nice to uh, remember our troops every day of the year, but yes, yeah, same to you. Uh, let me ask you about Nancy Pelosi saying no more discussion, no investigation, no proof, and no apology. The CIA, of all the agencies, I can't think of one where integrity is not more key, uh, and, and, and she's called them liars. So can she walk away yeah. from this? Well, I, I would just add to the list of those who serve and who we ought to be remembering this weekend, those in the front lines of freedom uh, working for the CIA, whose morale, I think, has been uh, damaged by Speaker Pelosi. She's two heartbeats away from the presidency, and she has, I think, impugned their integrity. And uh, Leon Panetta, a former member of Congress from her delegation in California, has, uh, I think, made the point, at least implicitly, in talking to his personnel, you know, uh, we're not in the business of lying, and yet she says they are. The other national security security problem here, I think, is that we're seeing this kind of action by Nancy Pelosi most especially, but also, frankly, by the Barack Obama administration, having a negative effect on our intelligence services in two ways. One, in terms of the willingness of our personnel to go out and do the sorts of things that um, may be controversial, may even find uh, people saying subsequently that, you know, you need to be brought up on charges. That caution can translate into the loss of American lives. Secondly, we have foreign intelligence services upon whom we have become increasingly dependent, especially in the human intelligence area, reluctant to work with us because they don't know what's going on in Washington anymore. What's going to be released by the president or by, you know, a truth commission, as uh, Speaker Pelosi would have it? What can be, you know, confidently held secret, which they've requested and, in fact, demanded? So in all of these ways, besides, you know, the derisiveness with which I think we find a lot of people now treating Nancy Pelosi, we have a real problem in terms of the impact she's having on our national security. I couldn't agree. I think Americans need to pay attention to this issue because just like the CIA memos were selectively redacted in terms of not telling us what information was obtained from interrogation techniques and what threats were actually thwarted, as Vice President Cheney had brought up, I think Leon Panetta did support the CIA representatives who conducted these questioning and who presented their material uh, and, and insist that Nancy Pelosi knew about this. He supported them. She doesn't. What about the president? Well, he seems to have tried desperately to stay clear of this. Uh, he's got enough problems of his own making, let's be honest, uh, in the same uh, vein. He has signaled on the one hand he's not going to allow uh, members of the CIA to be prosecuted. On the other hand, his uh, CIA, uh, excuse me, his attorney general is signaling that they're cooperating with uh, those who would like to prosecute American officials, maybe some CIA, maybe others uh, elsewhere in the government. But, you know, the, the kind of effect that this is having cumulatively um, both the speaker's actions and those of the president I think can only make it more difficult for those in our intelligence services to do their job all right and well the calls at are this coming moment in time we need them to do it as well as ever and as I Urgent. said a Newt Gingrich he knows this position that she's in and he says she's got to go and she he is not alone we will follow this for sure on Fox thank you so much Frank great to see you my pleasure thank you Eric